If you are here because you've been trying to play chords by hitting single notes in FL Studio, you're in the right place. If you're here because you've been trying to do the thing where you can repeat notes by hitting a single key, you're also in the right place. If you're here because you're looking for someone to make you feel a little better about your weight, maybe you're not quite skinny enough, but you're not really so chubby, you're also in the right place. Because men, I'm fat. So the problem I had was that on FL Studio, I would want to play chords, but I didn't know any music. <laughs> I still don't know any music theory. Um, and I wanted to play chords and I want to play all kinds of chords. And FL's chord picker was limited. I am solving that problem by using something called Complete Control. So Complete Control comes from native instruments. It is their VST host. So Complete Control is not a host, but it's not a VST of its own. It's a VST host. If you have anything from Native Instruments, anything Native Instruments makes, Complete Control can house it and play it. Now, the best thing about Complete Control is that it is free. I have made chapter markers, so you can just skip to the chapter markers if you like. What I want to do is to be able to play chords by just hitting my keyboard. So if I come and click this little musical thing, this the play thing and then I activate scale right here see once it comes on that that thing turns blue and there's a play button beside it uh, I think it's called smart play this is a parameters for your smart play yeah for the complete control smart play so you can set your root note you can set what bank you want you can set how you want it to like sound now the, when you look at the chord setting it is set to off you don't want it off because obviously you want to play chords it has two settings it has chord set and harmonizer Chord set just means that it will play a bunch of preset chords from a list. Let me show you. I chord set. So it, it removes some of the options here. These are all the chords. You can play eight different major chord, eight different major chord scales, I guess. I don't I don't know. See, that's how much I need this. I don't even know the correct thing to call it. Eight major things, eight minor things. Well, what I hope should happen now is that when I hit a key on my Akai Fire it should trigger multiple notes so like that there you go if i wanted to do arpeggios i would hit this up, up button I'd click that and the, the the scale and the app buttons work together so if the scale thing is on it will arpeggiate in the scale that you have set so since ARP is on, I believe if I were to hit that Works fantastic. Let me change this to note repeat. Now note repeat is If you want to mess with like high hats, note repeat will do it. So just imagine that this is a hat So it will go It will repeat like that it has all these settings for the timing as you would like okay so let me record that okay so i already had some drums going there what you see is that i was playing chords but when you look in the midi it only shows me single notes so yeah so i can't really edit much i can add single notes into this midi thing and make it play like that but the only thing that is being recorded here the midi that is here is just a single note i want to be able to see the entire chord so that i can chop and change and move it around what if i want to just move one key in the entire chord to make it a different chord i don't it doesn't give me full freedom the other problem i have is that if you turn this off it will stop working if I, did, if I were to turn off the scale, it wouldn't play in the chord anymore. You hear now? I'd have to turn this back on. So that's a serious problem. The other problem I have had with this is that when I tried to load third-party plugins, so if I were to put in something like uh, hybrid for example so technically it will work
but sometimes you know midway through using this thing yeah it does that see see that's for that's the exact problem so i cannot get the interface back until i you know i have to close it and reopen it and do this and do that again so here's a workaround i found i can route the midi out so to route the media out, let me put another track in there really quickly. Put a synth. Actually, I'm a little, a little bit obsessed with hybrid. So let's do it. Let's do hybrid. Okay. So roll that guy up. By the way, if you're wondering how I move that thing, move the thing up on the bar. It's uh, shift and scroll. Then what I will do is I will just assign an in and an out for the MIDI for the MIDI. Normally this thing is hidden. I have I when you go to general settings, you can actually make it so that every single plugin shows up like this um and then you come and you you can yeah you can toggle that on and off like that but basically make sure it's showing and then you click the no it's not the wrench it's the gears so you click the gears and you go to output port and you switch this one to whatever number you like i normally go with zero so this is the this is the complete control whatever is on the complete control i have it on zero now I don't want the complete control to play. Well, I don't want the instrument loaded here to play as well. So I will just put like a little dummy version of contact in here. I have the scale all mapped and then I will come to hybrid and I shall set the input port to zero. So now I have hybrid here. If I hit my Akai fire, you see, you see it's playing single notes. However, I'm pretty sure if I come here and click that, it is triggering the hybrid. Okay, so let me record this. See, see, we still get the same um, single notes, which is honestly not bad, depending on what you want. This might be fine. Just this should tell you how epic my sense of rhythm and timing is. We're very grateful to God that the makers of computer music put a quantized setting in here. You no, know, people like me would. <sighs> However, I still had a problem with this situation. So my problem was twofold. Number one, I could not get the, the full MIDI information to edit. That was a problem. And the second problem I had is that it does not work with FL native plugins. So something like, I go to Flex. Okay, it's Flex here. There is, Flex is native to FL, right? Only VST plugins come with this extra gear setting. FL native plugins do not come with it. See, this one doesn't have, it only has this and that. That basically meant that I could not use the Smart Play feature on, on things like Flex and any other FL native plugin. All right, this is where it gets a little nerdy, but not too nerdy. Complete Control has both a VST version and a standalone version. If you are on a Mac, you need to go into your settings and enable your virtual MIDI instrument or virtual MIDI keyboard. Um, if you're on Windows, you need to download something. Basically, you need a virtual MIDI driver. That's what you need if you're on Windows especially you need a virtual MIDI driver. A virtual MIDI driver is a dummy that communicates from the outside wall to the in and basically kind of creates a, a MIDI controller. It creates an extra MIDI controller that you can patch from your physical MIDI controller to your door as an extra step or not just your physical MIDI controller, but you can patch it from a standalone program and patch it through to another DAW or another standalone program. Basically, you allow everything to, you allow them to talk together to each other. That's basically what a virtual MIDI driver does. As best as I can explain it. You know I'm semi-literate about these things anyway. Just Google virtual MIDI driver. Loop B1. Yeah, that's what I have. I have Loop B1. Loop B1, or you can do virtual MIDI. You can get virtual MIDI. I will, I think I have links to both of these in the description below. What I did, is that I routed complete control through a virtual MIDI driver into FL. Talking too much, let me just show you. So complete control, this is the standalone version. I have it open here. But what I do here is I have my, uh, this is loop PE, this is the MIDI port. This is the internal MIDI port thing. And uh, once you install it, 
it will it will give you this. So what it has done is that it has created a MIDI controller basically. In order to configure it, you hit edit and preferences, um, and then this thing will open up, and then you go to MIDI. What you want to do is you have the input routed to your actual MIDI controller. So in my case, it's a V49, an Alessis V49, and then you have your output routed to loop BE internal MIDI. So what that does is that it's going to take whatever MIDI signal you send to complete control and it's going to pass it through and it's going to send it out through loop PE. Okay, so I'm going to close that and then I'm going to open FL. You open FL and you want to come to your MIDI settings. You see the V49, I have to disable it. If not, it's going to have issues and it's going to crash. I'm very fortunate that I have two MIDI controllers, but really you should be fine just having it set up this way. So basically, I my V49 is disabled, but my loop BE, see, it shows up as a generic controller. That is enabled. So what that means is that as long as this is open, whatever I send, whatever I do here is going to pop out. Whatever I touch there shall be revealed here, essentially. So that allows me, for example, to manipulate flex. Okay, so if uh, you see, so the V49 is not on, but if I press, press that, it works. Okay, that's, that's driving me a little crazy. Let me see some guitars. So it, it works fine. Now the, the the clincher is this. So when I come do that, get that bad boy. Come on, come on. You come on. Clincher. You better be clinched. Um chord, I like to set this on harmonizer. Again, some four. Uh, one three five seven. I don't even know what all these things mean. Honestly, I spent a long time reading Mara and they had a whole discussion on scales and my eyes glazed over when I got to that point. So you can see here when we let me take it into piano roll. When you hit this guy, you're triggering the chord. And this allows you to do basically all the tricks that you would like to. Well, when I say tricks, people who know how to play piano normally don't have to suffer like this. But I struggle to fix both our inadequacies, you know? These are all banks of scales. Oh, by the way, I should tell you, I'm using something called Polyplex. Anyway. It's kind of fun to actually play in chord like that. Okay, let me record that. If you have if you guys have any questions, send me a leave me a comment or something. And please, yes, like and subscribe my stuff so that I can make more stuff like this. See you later. Bye for now.